It's sad. Why? Huh. I think memories. And to see the church go. I don't know, it's part of your life. A sad day for people in Baldwin as a beloved Catholic church is being torn down. It's a challenge that's happened all over our region, dwindling congregations and high repair costs, forcing church leaders to make tough decisions. Barry Pintar went to Baldwin today. Since 1874, 1874, this church has stood proud and tall. It's not just a building being torn away, it's memories. Today they're tearing down what would have been the altar area of this once proud standing German church. A seemingly endless number of onlookers come to watch and remember, sometime with tears. When I walked up to your car, you had tears in your eyes. Tell me what you were thinking. It's sad. Why? Huh, I think memories. And to see the church go. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's part of your life. This church connected a six week old Mary with the parents who would adopt her 74 years ago. Today, she and her daughter take bricks as mementos and as others have as well. St. Wendelin's was simply too run down to save according to the Pittsburgh Diocese. A needed new roof and boiler system itself would have been over a million dollars too much for the dwindling congregation. Still, it doesn't make it any easier for this woman, who was also here to watch and remember. It was an old fashioned German church and the altar was just so absolutely incredibly beautiful and it was wooden and uh, I think that's probably the part that I missed most. Some elements of the church will be saved and passed on, like the cornerstone that holds the building date and the old church bell. But now those bell sounds, organ sounds, and hymn singing are being replaced with the sounds of demolition, which will soon be replaced by empty silence. Sometimes things are beyond repair and we have to let them go, and we're left with memories. In Baldwin, Barry Pintar, KDKA-TV News.